Welcome. This is uh, the Algebra 1 in the course practice test 2, question number 23. The question says, what is the value of the expression x to the third times y to the second over 6 plus x squared times y squared? Now, the issue here is that it gives you some substitution or some values to substitute in. I, my suggestion to you is you do more handwriting than you do calculator work. You can get really lost in these problems by trying to type it all into the calculator in one big group and hitting enter. Might make your life just a little bit easier if you just took a few seconds to handwrite some of the sections out. Uh, a big issue here is that you have negative 2 to the third power or negative 2 squared will pop up in just a second. Now to the third power it doesn't matter but this and this are not the same thing. Due to the order of operations, this says, the top one says negative 2 times negative 2, which gives you, of course, positive 4. The bottom one, the negative 2 squared thing, where you don't have the parentheses, it means negative, it means negative 1 times 2 to the second power. So because you do exponents first before you do times, before you do multiply, so it would give you negative 1 times 4 or negative 4. As you can see, 4 and negative 4 are pretty different, and for a question that's not that complicated, it's kind of a silly thing to miss. So make sure anytime you have a negative, especially if it's squared to the fourth power or something, that you punch it into parentheses before you start trying to figure out what its value is. So it's going to be this. My y is 3, so I don't have to worry about it nearly as much, over 6 plus x squared, so this is that negative 2 squared thing, and then 3 squared. So what I'm going to do is break everything down in a nice uh, slow relationship. Uh, negative 2 to the third power is of course negative 8 times uh, 3 squared would be 9, and then divide that by 6, plus the issue here is you need to type in negative 2 into the calculator in parentheses, close it, and then raise it to the second power to make sure you get your 4 times 3 to the second power, which we already just discovered earlier, is of course 9. So 4 times 9 is 36. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. And if I divide that by 6, it gives me negative 12. And I do negative 12 plus 36, and it should give me positive 24. So my answer to number 23 is, of course, C. Now, the issue that you could get wrong here is if you don't put that negative 2 in parentheses, it might be a problem. Or you just get lost trying to type it all in in one big group. The thing about the end of course test is it makes a lot more sense to take a few extra seconds to write things out by hand and organize it for your brain and for your calculator and everything else than trying to type it all in as one long group and hitting enter and then just like crossing your fingers that it's correct. So it might be a good plan to take a little bit of extra time. It's pretty easy points if you do it in the correct fashion. So. Shouldn't be a problem.